Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Craftsman Collective. My name is Niseros, and it's been a couple of days since I've done a Craftsman Collective or, you know, something from my main series, and um, a couple of things have changed a little bit. Uh, now, the reason I've been away for, for about a week... Uh, was a couple of reasons. It's a nice flag. Still haven't fixed that either. I've been just busy and sick, really. Um, I got a really bad infection, and so I I got antibiotics and pain meds and etc. So I was out of it for a couple of days, and also, oh, I got salmonella poisoning or something like that. And it was just, it's just been, it's just been a bad week. So, that's why I haven't done too much in the way of episodes. So, a couple of things have changed. We've added a, uh, a new member, Rock and Roll for Life. Uh, I've been watching his LPs for, for a little while. And he's been on the public server. And uh, I like the style, so I invited him. And let's see, let's see, let's see. I can't remember precisely what I showed you. I think, I think you guys already know about this wheat farm. But I'm gonna take it down. I don't, I don't need this anymore. Um, and I want to get my my little yard back right there because I, I didn't, I don't need it. Turns out I just don't need it. So let me grab these seeds because I made a a wheat farm from forestry a forestry wheat farm there it is nice and big uh, I think it's placed nicely however the reason see okay let me let me tell you what was going on what I was gonna do was use this area right here my my tree farm took the tree farm out put it away um, but it's too far away apparently um, it's too far away for the, the logic gates to connect to this logic system over there. Uh, and I'm, I'm not really sure why, to be honest. But I guess I could, I guess I can increase the config to make it better. But anyhow, so I moved it over here so that this uh, supplier logic gate is closer to the network. Still, still won't work. Um, I'm telling it to keep seeds and dirt supplied, but it won't. So, I don't know how to fix that right away. But I suspect it involves... I think I might... I think I might try to fix the config, because this is pretty close. Um, and that'll make other people's logic gates work. Or logic pipes, rather, work, work better. So, yeah. That's what I've been battling with. Let's see. Oh, so so much has changed. Let's see. So I'll be taking this out. Oh yeah, I added this little. Oh, I need to breed them. They're kind of getting low. Uh, I added this cobblestone generator. <laughs> I couldn't think of the name. Uh, cobblestone generator, and it's just full of cobble. And whenever. A stack of cobble is taken out the gate uh, turns the timer on but once it is filled up oh okay <laughs> all right well I found a bug uh, I can't get into this gate for some reason so I'm not gonna try I'm gonna ignore it but anyhow, what happens is when it's full, it detects that the inventory is full. It emits redstone signal and turns the timer off. So people can come and take cobblestone and um, it will fill up and then stop. That's important, the stopping part. So that's that. 
I've been working the bees a little bit. Not too much, because I really don't like them. I really just honestly don't like them. I think they're annoying, and maybe, maybe if I tried to automate them or something, it would be better. I don't even know where these came from, but ah, ooh, it could be anybody. Could be anybody. That's Coke there in the server screen. This is a network monitor. What I can do is, well, not that one. Um, let's go down here. Uh, if you right click on one of these logic gates, it tells you what it is and if there are any any inbound or outbound sessions. Um, so you can track down like if things are not working properly. Like down here, they just they weren't working for a while. I set up this is this is new. I moved everything from the auto crafters from the foundry over here because of the same limitations. Um, and so this one is making redstone engines. This one is making pistons. This tells it how to get planks. This tells it how to get sticks. And how to get gear. And then these two you should know. The fertilizer, which I don't really need anymore, and the the humus. <laughs> I don't need I don't need these two right now, but if I need if I get a tree farm in the future I will. So this is this is all new. Uh, I put a floor here so I can get over here and and get underneath these chests. Um these chests uh, all of my chests are now logiced. They all they all have these and they all have this. Including going up here and right here. So my kitchen is also also wired up, as it were. Um, so when I look in this, I have four pages, and all of my bee stuff is here. All of my food stuff. I want a pie. Num num num. Um, everything. All of my mod items are here. So you may have noticed this little book and you may hear them <laughs> see them typing about stuff that I was trying to keep secret and you may have noticed the linking book so yes it is official we finally have the mistcraft onto the server and I will be doing a mistcraft spotlight soon or I might just use this episode to teach you about it um, I'll tell you I'll, I'll mix it up a little bit so mistcraft adds ages they call them ages but they're really worlds it's like there are other dimensions just like the nexus or or the end i mean the nexus the i mean the nether uh, or the end and they have different traits and i'll i'll explain all of the traits and all that in the spotlight not here but let's just see what what we've done so Basically, everyone on the server in this world, the main world, we're keeping this world, uh, has one of these. And I'm going to clear out my inventory a little bit. And... And prepare. Okay, I have cleared my inventory and I've got some, some gear. We're good. Um, we're going to eat this topping cheesecake really <laughs> really waste that it'll give me a lot of uh, of the secondary hunger bar the it'll satiate my my guy a lot though um, so yeah uh, I forgot I forgot we've got a lot more to talk about before we go and get into the Nexus um, so I took my furnaces and I put them down here like I was explaining earlier and now uh, I got rid of my wrench get that back now um, I've put crafting pipes crafting logistic pipes on the top of these things and they are connected to their network <laughs> and what I did was I manually put in here if you put sand in here into the furnace you will get glass and you will get oh look at that that's one of the problems that I'm having with logistic pipes 
That's one of the biggest problems. Let's see if we can find another one. They have been... I don't think... I think I cleared these out. Um, I come down here and each one of these is stacked full. Like it's... It's storing them here for some reason instead of making them go to their rightful place. And the same with over here it seems. So we only want... Uh, we only want... Oh, that's why. That could really mess it up if it doesn't understand the logistics. You want one for one, not 39 for one. Um, this is how it has to be. Otherwise it'll put in 39 and only think it should get one. And that's all I've done. I've got some more furnaces for smelting ores and stuff. I'll have to have a lot more than this though. So that's what these are. These are automatic furnaces. So if I request something made of glass, or if I simply come up here and request some glass, first of all, if we go to supply, you will notice that we have 228. But if we go to craft, and it says zero, but that's that really just means anytime you see zero, it means that it can make that thing, or you have none, or you have none of it, which I don't think it would even show the icon if you didn't have any. Um, so there's that. There's a little bit of a little bit of that. I'm gonna keep this on me. Let's go in here into the foundry real quick. Uh, I have changed the foundry just a little bit. The reason I have this wheat farm going is I want to supply this wheat farm directly into my uh, biofuel system. I haven't, oh, oops. I haven't been doing uh, much with this because it keeps running out. The reads, this logistics network is not working, first of all, because I'm sure it's just too far away. It used to work, but that was back when it was paired over here. So I don't know. Uh, it's just it's it's not doing its job, and right now I have it turned off. So instead, I've been using <laughs> this. Oh no, it burned. Oh, the lava is what burned it. I thought a creeper exploded it. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Anyhow, <laughs> I made this. This is my. 64 redstone power engine it provides that little bit of stream that's what 64 redstone engines do <laughs> oh not much not much at all so what this is hooked up to you saw two teleport pipes there well it's hooked up right here first of all this is the redstone engines receiving true and it's just constantly powering these machines over here that just need constant power, you know. Uh, like my thermionic, blah blah blah. Um, and this isn't hooked up to anything right now. I'm I'm in the process of redoing it, so to speak. Okay, so that's really all that changed out here. And that's why I'm trying to get more stable wheat farm going. This one was not automatic enough and needed to be replanted. Um, and so that's why I went with this one. It was because it plants itself. It does require power, and it is getting power. It's also getting power from the other one, the wheat power, which is hooked up to those redstone engines as well. <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> Alright, so it is time for the Nexus. Um, let's go. Let's go take a look. So this is my Nexus book. I'll show you how to get this stuff later. But all you gotta do is click this and then whoop, you're there. Uh, we made this little area. There's a Dugan. Hello, Dugan. And there's that little area here. This is a void age. So this is essentially there's no land anywhere. When I when I created this this world, I was literally standing on a piece of stone. <laughs> and that was it. So we we made this instead. Do again. Have a cake, buddy. 
Okay, so, uh, this is our Nexus, which is basically a place where we link to all of the different books. So these act like teleport books, basically. These link back to the overworld. Um, so it's a nice nice way to to get to get around quickly. And we've even even got even got um, books to the end, another, the stronghold, and oh, here we go, here we go. Got rock. He's even got a, a place. Maybe we'll go check that out later. So these are all of the different places we have. That's mine. Um, that goes back to my my house. And all these people, man. All these people. This is just a generic chest that I don't know why they put it there, but whatever. They did it. Um, my sound got altered again. Okay. This area is for the other worlds. And <laughs> look at all these worlds. Look at all these areas. What is he doing? What's he doing over there? Uh, these, this area is for all of the random weird worlds that, that exist. So, I'll get into that later. Maybe we'll make one for this episode. I mean, why not? It'd be cool. I don't know what these are. CBFL. Yo, dog, sup? Flowers, yo. So that's probably a penny. Um, so yeah, these are all different people's worlds to other worlds, not not ours. Okay. Yes, there's bedrock under there. We did cheat a little bit because that it's instant, and we didn't want people falling through. So we put bedrock under it. Sue us. Okay, these are they look like library books and crafting <laughs> crafting grids, but they're they're not. They're kind of a, a combination. This is a notebook. This notebook was um, spawned in. You cannot get... Well, you can. You can make a notebook, and then the idea is you make a notebook, and then you make a world, and you get a random world. Okay? Because every time you... Alright, let's start from the beginning, I guess. Here's a link. Link book stand. We don't need it, though. Uh, okay, so what you do is if you put a regular old book into a crafting grid, you will get a linking book, just like these. And the linking books will, whenever you use the linking book, you will appear wherever you're standing and face whichever way you're facing. So um, all of these Nexus linking books, I was standing literally right here and I made them, put them into my grid got them one by one and gave them out to people so this is where they all appear might even got a couple in here yeah okay but if you put a book and a feather you get one of these nifty descriptive books these are like um the golden discs for for when they make games i don't know if you know this but if when they make a game or a movie or something there's one huge golden master disc that is perfect and then they make all the copies out of that one master disc this is kind of like that and it's it it's age 148 it started at age 50 so there there have been that many ages created by our people so far and all you do is you put the descriptive book into here and then you can rename it from age 140 whatever and let's put let's make a name let's put Necroland okay and so this is this is basically what you do there are different tabs on the side and each time you click one of these little buttons or icons one of these little butts um, they will be added to the descriptive book which means the age that you are creating it will have these features. So, um, let me think what kind of a world I would like to make. I was thinking, I was thinking at 1.3, we're probably going to 
We're, we'll, we'll save this. We'll save this book for now. Because when 1.3 comes out, I'm going to want to make another world and update all of these. I, I mean 1.3 for mods, by the way. I'm going to update all of these. Um, I'm going to get a new world. And we're going to go check it out. So, until then, let's see. I've been using this to mine, but I'm sure it's I'm sure it's corrupted by now. Um, we'll talk about that later. So let's just go check out check out. Oh, I'll show you this. So these are all the symbols for my mining world, and for this one I did only mushroom islands. And I'll explain that later. Single biome, so there are no other biomes. It's bright. It never gets below, I think, 10 maybe, 10 brightness. I don't, I don't know for sure, but like down in caves, you can see perfectly. You don't need torches. Um, normal sky color, you can affect the fog, the sky color, and the sunset. Each There are a bunch of different options to making the sky colored or what have you. There are caves in this world. If you don't click this, then no, no caves generate. There are dungeons, same thing. Glowstone crystals, those are awesome. Those are literally like pockets of glowstone in the real world, basically. And they're everywhere, so it's kind of a little cheaty, but it's just glowstone. Um, strongholds, cave world means there's no surface. Kind of like the nether, kind of. Um, it will always be day. Just like this world is constantly dusk, it is always this time it never changes so daylight then eternal day means it's always day there's going to be no weather dense ores and I put that one in a couple of times that literally makes the ores more dense um, a little bit cheaty a little bit cheaty this is the one glyph that I really don't like but unfortunately I don't have a way to limit it um, normal fog, so I did a couple normal fogs apparently, and then I also put some chromatic fogs, I don't know why. So let's, let's take a look and see if we immediately die. <coughs> okay. You can see the fog is all chromatic, which means, I think it means it changes. Um, and it's just not loaded, there's actually no sky, open sky, it's just unloaded chunks and there's a lot of dirt yeah this is this is decay for sure so this world is decaying and what that means is it's lagging like a crazy mofo because all of there's a whole bunch of block updates the world is literally sinking this can also happen if you put in big trees you really shouldn't put in big trees because it'll generate really huge trees which the leaves will immediately start to decay because they're not attached to wood and causes a lot of lag so be careful about that but let's see if I can show you what dense ores really means let's go down here Ooh. Um, and I want to go down into way lower down so we're climbing down there's some Set some blah, 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 red power to emeralds because this is not 1.3 yet. Oh man, the lag! Come on. Um, so because of dense ores um, and so much mining, I mean, look at all this. Look at all these ores that are just right next to each other. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that is that is void. <laughs> That's corruption. If I stay here too long, I will for sure die. But look at this. Look at this stuff. There's there's diamonds everywhere. And there's ore everywhere. Let's let's go down to not there. Let's see if I can find a nice big open Here's a bunch of gold. Let's grab this gold. Like literally if we stay here the decay could open up underneath us and we could fall to and to into the void and lose everything. So that is one of the ways that they counteract how good this is because <laughs> quite a few quite a few people have 
fallen down into the void and lost everything. But it's... I have mixed feelings, I'll be honest. I have mixed feelings about the legitness of this mod. And that's partially my fault because I... Oh, there's some diamonds. Because I... Um, allowed those notebooks. You know those notebooks that have all the glyphs in them that I was talking about? Those are spawned in. Those aren't those aren't normal. Normally you um, just you make a notebook and there's no glyphs in it or like maybe some defaults. And then you have to start visiting worlds in order to learn all of the new glyphs. So you wouldn't have access to dense ores unless you happen to find a world that has dense ores. And I have no clue the rarity of the different runes and glyphs, so I don't... I, I suspect that after a couple of days of playing that everybody would have dense ores. So, in order to to save the server any trouble of having hundreds and hundreds of these worlds, of these ages that nobody will ever go to again, because it will cause lag, especially if people don't destroy the descriptive books the descriptive books, if you destroy it, it the world the age is deleted permanently and it no longer causes strain. So Yeah. So you could see how common and that was only one one dense ores. You could put multiple dense ores into a world and it will <laughs> it'll work. Um however it will decay way quicker. Much, much quicker. There's a lemon peeler. So, everyone go and check out Rock and Roll for Life. He's uh, pretty good. He's got an entertaining LP, and I enjoy it, so I think you would too. Also, a uh, quick shout out to my brother, Captain Chaos. He has just recently started a Let's Play of his own on the server. Uh, I will link to him in the description as well as uh, everyone else on the server for that matter. Uh, I've updated my list down there with uh, all of the mods as well as the new new people that are on. So check them all out. They are entertaining. And I think I'm going to get out of here and destroy this world. So let's show you how to do that. You see how I have no torches down here. But it's really bright. It's light level. So the light level is actually low enough for mobs to spawn. But visually it, it doesn't it doesn't change. Alright, so you take one of your linking books. And if you had a pedestal, you can set it down, but you don't need a pedestal. I gotta get out of here because of this lag. Um so it becomes if you plop it down, it becomes this little entity that you can push around. And if I were to destroy it, the book would disappear. But if I destroyed all of the books of for the Nexus, the 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 primary, the descriptive book, not these green ones, then it would go away. So we are storing our descriptive books in this golden chest down here. Most of them, not all of them, apparently. And I'm going to keep mine. Here are some rules. Um, yeah, we gotta make sure we don't stress the server. So let's go back to my house. Oops. And we are home. What's up, man? So he want he needed some grass, so I let him have whatever he wants. I got a bunch, thanks to my silk touch. All right, let's cook up some of these ores. Okay, I'm making a decision, and uh, I'm taking these notebooks. 
I think the notebooks are too powerful. So we will have to make our own notebooks and start to collect glyphs from here on out because I just came back in that little tiny short trip. <laughs> guess how much gold I got. Just guess. About 40 something. <laughs> so I uh, let me just show you. They're cooking over here. There's a bunch there. There's a bunch there. So let me just show you my ores and gems chest. Oh. There it is. I'm actually kind of running out of gold. I've been using it so much. <laughs> but I've got a bunch of uh, stuff here. It's not too shabby. Uh, let's turn all of these into diamonds, because why not? I only need a, a full stack of blocks <laughs> and lupus and whatever. So that's what I've got. Don't judge me. Don't you judge me. And these notebooks, actually, I'm going to go over here. I'm going over here. And they're going in the trash. Going to have to make our own notebook and start gathering the glyphs as the mod intended, just like everyone else will. I think that's a good change. I think that's a nice balance. So suck it up, you guys. Do it the real way. I'm going to have to also. Okay. Let's get this gold. Or just lag. Okay. And put it in there. And it will suck it up and put it where it needs to go. I was just chilling over here, doing some things, and I <laughs> saw this. Never seen this before. This is quite crazy. I'm gonna go look at it. Some sort of lava, lava twisty spiral. I wonder who did this. It's pretty good. This is kind of how the glowstone crystals look in the world, except not so tall. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I suspect Cal Penny or Dugan did it. Although, uh, although, uh, where the hell? Those guys, the mountain guys, could have done it too. Cyrax and Lemon. They're always over here doing stuff. I wonder where all that lava came from, though. It's probably just like one block up the top. I bet you. Oh man. Alright. Let's go back home. Alright everybody, thank you for watching. This is going to be the end of the episode today. Um, I would like to hear from you guys about what you would like to see in the future. Um, this area is pretty cool. But I'm, I'm getting a little tired of it because it's it's kind of a hodgepodge mash of different different ideas that I've I, I never really uh, standardized any of the, the ideas before I started making the base. So I would like to know what you guys think about that. All right, guys, that's it. So see you later.